So it's a fun project. Seven tons of stone, about a half ton of gravel was used on this project. We've got a SLD 4,000 to 7,000 gallon per hour pump. We've got six small aqua blocks, a 15 by 30 foot liner, a 15 by 60 foot piece of underlayment, 25 feet of two inch pipe, and two 12 inch spillways. And it just looks stupendous. Let me turn the camera on and show you just how magical this thing looks. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Welcome everybody, another episode of Team Aquascape here. We have a really, really fun, unique project for a very cool backyard. It's here in the west suburbs, not too far from our shop, but a very typical backyard as a lot of you guys have seen. We've got an outdoor structure there. We've got a really cool outdoor living space, multiple tiers. We are going to be doing a pondless waterfall today from this line all the way over to there. This is gonna be a weepy wall, babbly brook kind of thing, all facing back towards the house. A lot of work of us we got to get the grass out or get our liner in get our basin in and then we'll start bringing back some of those granite boulders we've got a bunch of dirt that we have to move it is going to be a wild fast and furious day we have some incredible help we've got Nikwe from ffl water features out of ghana Hi. all the way across the pond super excited to have him here glad to be reunited with him we also have cameron perez out of florida there he is so we are going to get going on this project say buckle up because it's going to be a wild fun ride today let's get going here's our granite boulder selection we've got about five yards of topsoil that we have to move we've got our truck we're gonna get that grass out of here jd's coming with the side cutter as we speak our chariot and then we're gonna get that grass out then go ahead reroute some irrigation and then start digging that reservoir huh Side is cut, now we're just getting it into wheelbarrows, getting it into the back of the truck so we can get that out of here. Next thing we'll do and focus on is going to be getting our reservoir in. So we'll finish cleaning up all this little stuff in through here, cutting out all this grass, and then uh, get that tank dug so that we can go ahead, get our fabric and liner and then fabric in, and then we'll start rocking once that basin's all set. couple small setbacks nothing major we just have some irrigation and electrical that we needed to kind of move around over here access is tight which we knew going into this but this is where our reservoir is going to sit and then just kind of a weepy wall starting over there a lot of stuff facing back towards the house so we'll end up digging down a fair amount down and through here just to make some of those upper pooling areas right now we've got a 15 by 30 liner coming in and it's going to run 15 feet this way 30 feet running lengthwise We got our liner in. Next, we're gonna put some of the geotextile underlayment and the woven underlayment on top. Then we'll put our aqua blocks and pump vault in, get the basin solid, and then we're gonna bring some sand in and fill along the perimeter outside of the liner once we get everything kind of fit into place. Grab that pump vault, Chris, behind you. We got JD down here working on the waterfalls and then Jack showed up to give us a hand. Yeah, what's up guys? So we are just kind of piecing together this waterfall. It's just gonna be like a weepy wall with a bunch of kind of these canyon style waterfalls. I like the rock that JD's putting in there. I think we'll be able to maybe get water to come off of both sides of it based on the profile of that rock. We're gonna get a little V waterfall in between there. Get another frame rock back over behind just to kind of get it to split. But this whole wall is just gonna be a series of small cascades all funneling 
traveling back towards our viewing area, which is obviously this gorgeous house, but also some of their outdoor living spaces, the dining room table, the gazebo, and some of the different areas along this backyard. Really, really awesome. So they're piecing that together. I love the direction that they're going. It's just kind of one rock at a time, waterfalls, waterfalls, waterfalls. Chris and I are over here putting together the reservoir and kind of finishing that up, and we will work our way back this way for the project. We gotta get one more rock placed in here. We brought the pipe coming out through the pump fault, which sits right down in here, and it's going this direction. As you can see, we're not gonna do a bulkhead fitting or anything like that over here. We're just gonna bring it high up over the liner so that where the pipe comes out of the reservoir, it will be a good six inches above the top of the aqua blocks. We'll get dirt underneath the liner to help hold that edge up, making it good, and then that way we don't have to worry about bulkhead fitting, putting a bulkhead fitting, or creating a watertight seal where that pipe comes out. We're gonna end up disguising this with, uh, I'm gonna put another big boulder there, and then just a cobble wash around it, and then I'll bring dirt in all the way back into here to really change the shape, so it'll kind of sweep like this. Should be a really cool effect. We've got a bunch of plants that we're gonna replant in this area. We had sprinkler pipes, which you can kind of see right here. I think there was about three of them. Yeah, there's three of them running through here. When we put our reservoir in, it was originally gonna be a little bit further this way, but in order to compensate or to take into account the sprinkler pipes and not having to cut them and reroute a bunch of them, we ended up shifting the reservoir closer to the patio and that way just a little bit. So we're gonna put one more rock there, finish the sides off, and then start putting dirt back up against the backside of all these boulders so we don't end up having to use a lot of foam when foaming these waterfalls together. I love the progress that uh, we're doing. I'm glad Jack's out here to give us a hand. So I'm glad that those guys, the two Jacks can kind of bird dog the waterfalls and then team Chris will end up over here just kind of buttoning up everything behind them, making it uh, go very, very quickly and efficiently. Nikwe and Cameron are out cleaning up the street, just kind of buttoning up for the day. I don't think we're gonna finish, giving it max effort, but I just don't think we're gonna get it done. I think Jack will be back tomorrow and with a few guys just to kind of button everything up in through here. So rolling, rolling right along, love it. out here it's day two you know we would have loved to have finished this project yesterday just ran into a couple small hiccups and things went a little bit slower than they normally do which is fine but not unlike any other project that we do it's one project at a time so we're back out here today to finish it we got chris cameron nikwe and myself we're gonna button this thing up and we should be done relatively soon we've got the waterfalls pretty much built in through here we've got to drop these spillways in uh, which will be our upper pool and uh, get that all connected we've got a couple manifolds over there so we're gonna use two 12 inch spillways up here. Now you could go in here and just do one of the big 22 inch spillways, but we're just gonna create just more of an upper pool up here. And we've got a four to 7,000 gallon per hour pump. So just wanna make sure that we have the necessary materials to be able to handle that amount of flow. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and use two. It'll also allow me to split those two spillways up here with a cobble or something to give it that illusion that it's split. So it's gonna be really, really cool up there, that upper pool. We've got some wing wall work to do over here as well is over here and then we are home free just kind of clean up and get everything else out of here so really really pleased with how this is coming together and filling in fingers crossed they love it but i love it already i can just tell how the water is going to move and i think it's going to be incredible time again I'm sure you can tell we just fired the pump up and it looks absolutely incredible such a fun project seven tons of stone and then about a half ton of gravel was used on this project we've got a SLD 4,000 to 7,000 gallon per hour pump we've got six small aqua blocks a 15 by 30 foot liner a 15 by 60 foot piece of underlayment 25 feet of two inch pipe and two 12 inch spillways on this project oh oh and to top it all off we've got five one watt lights illuminating 
recreating all the little waterfalls and some of the pooling water and it just looks stupendous. Let me turn the camera on and show you just how magical this thing looks. Now the idea was for us to get water to come from a bunch of different angles, heights, elevations, directions, all that good stuff and I think we nailed it with this one. You can see we've got the split waterfalls up at the top and then water coming down between rocks, over rocks, just incredible. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine waterfalls and 10 waterfalls, including that one down there. Such a cool, cool design. Quite a departure from what was here. It was all dirt and grass. And now you have an incredible outdoor oasis with the soothing sounds of water accompanied by, of course, the visual of the waterfalls behind us. But there's a, take a step back, there's a the scale of the berm. There's plenty of area to plant all on that back side over there. They already have a nice backdrop of nine barks and service berries. And we've got some overstory trees like this maple and then the maple back there. Just such a cool backyard setting, totally to scale with this backyard. And then we've got this gazebo over here. Cameron's over here in the shade. Cameron was a huge help on this project. It's so was Nikwe and Jack Danley. And of course, Chris, the better Chris Zeschke also helped out on this project quite a bit. And yes, Jack Pazinski himself was out here as well. So super, super pumped. We got everything nice and cleaned up. Now we are going to let the homeowner enjoy their new backyard paradise and we're going to get the heck out of here. Till next time. Thanks for tuning in. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Click the little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the content that we offer three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be sure to get back to you. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you around next time. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,